Hello, sexy Sagittarius. It's almost your season. Just a couple of days ago. Ah. All right, this is for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because we're what? Listening for love, baby. We're listening for the big L, all right? And not the loser, but the love. All right, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for joining and sharing space. I hope you guys are having a beautiful month so far. And if you like tarot and you like, you know, knowing what's going to happen for the month and stuff, and you like me, maybe you should come hang out with me on Instagram on Tuesdays. We go live 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We have happy hour and we do live readings there. Come hang out with me. Let's be besties. Also, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Ooh, I think my arthritis is kicking in. Oh. Hold on, y'all. It's been a lot of shuffling today. All right. With that being said, the way these reads are going to go, we're going to go into a general, a singles, a couples, and damn dirty, all signs. Let's know what they're thinking and what's it about. All right? Let's jump into this read today. So, we have on November 1st, that new moon in a Scorpio goddess at nine degrees. We knew something was coming to an end, and we're ready to move to the next level. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about this beautiful deck that I recently got. It's called the Loteria Remedios. I need to do a whole unboxing on this. It's super amazing and adds a lot of insight to the game Loteria. Loteria. Loteria is a game that we used to play a lot uh, growing up. I remember even as I was little, I used to pretend to be a card reader to my cousins <laughs> and pretend to read the cards sometimes um, and even just to myself. But this is a game that brings a lot of family memories. And Selena Gonzalez did an amazing job, an amazing job of bringing it to a very profound meaning and so we're going to be using these to talk about the moon energy all right we will be doing an unboxing now november 1st new moon in a scorpio nine degrees and you got the paraguas okay this is the umbrella okay and the umbrella is telling you changes are coming because it's the number five the umbrella is the energy of being prepared but when this card also comes out it is about clearing and cleansing and i have this let the rain fall down i think it was like a lizzie song i don't even remember lizzie mcguire anyways it's time to clear and cleanse moving forward my friend it's time to let the rain fall it's time to just to enjoy life again it's time to live sad all right now, on the second, Mercury, the planet of communication, goes into your sign. You're going to be chatty, Kathy, boo. Watch out. Don't be letting the secrets out. All right? And then, on the third, Mars enters into Leo. Mars is this planet of action, decision, and sexuality. And it'll be in Leo. And guess what? Mm, that's a little bit of all right. It's okay. It's your way or the highway. You're brave. You're profound. And you're taking a stance. On the 11th, happy Veterans Day to all my veterans out there, especially my dad, all right, TC and Blanca, you know I love you, all right? Now, Veterans Day is very important. Honor those people that fought for you to have the freedoms that you have today. All right, today, tomorrow, and for the next. And for those that are thinking about going into the military, blessings to you also. Now, the 11th is a very special day for me because that's the day my baby was born, all right? My oldest was born on 11, 11, and 1, 11. My baby is my boo bear, okay? My is Scorpio. And we also have Venus entering into Capricorn. So love is going to, if it don't make sense, it's not going to work. Capricorn is about stability, uh, responsibility. Does it make sense? This is like, let me change your oil. Let me take you out for dinner. You're hungry. I paid for your groceries. This, you know, things that make sense and make things work. Now, on the 15th, Saturn goes direct. All right. So let's just prepare ourselves. There's a lot going on. November is going to be a month of insight. Y'all, this year has been, like Kat said, uh, Kat Williams said, everything's getting exposed, all right? And Saturn is not playing. Also on that day, full moon in Taurus, all right? This is about moving forward, and you have La Calavera. Now, I want you to see that your intuition is going to be on point, and there is this, that you are, you need to start living your life. This full moon says, look, what, what was meant to hurt you, what was meant to bring you down, it ain't gonna work, baby. It's not gonna work. You are living, you are growing, you are thriving. You are no longer just surviving. You are that winner, all right? You are that Sagittarius. So stand in your power, move forward, and grow from the things that were meant to stop you. Now, with that being said, the 19th, Pluto enters into Aquarius. Yes, be prepared. Look, 
raise your vibration, stand in your power, and know when to turn off, okay? On the 21st, it's your season, boo. Can we go to breakfast? Can we go to lunch? Can we go grab dinner? Anything, because you know I love me some Sagittarius energy. And on the 25th, Mercury retrograde in the sign of Sag. So just be prepared. It's going to be interesting. Let's jump into the meanings of these cards. So for your oracle, we have Aries energy coming in. It's time to put things into action. You might be changing something about your appearance, something about the way you stand out in the world. The first house rules the way that you are seen, what you are known about. You might want to change your look. This is also about you taking a stance for who you are, all right? Now, <coughs> I don't know, I feel like a little cough. I, you know, I took my friend to work yesterday, I, and she was coughing everywhere. I'm not getting sick. I need to take my turmeric gummies from Awesome Human. You should get them. I've been taking them. They're amazing. I haven't gotten sick yet. I'm hoping it doesn't come now. So when it comes to love, 222 is going to be your number, okay? Did I write that down? Yes. So there's something about learning and growing and developing and understanding that you don't have to repeat the cycle. You you know, remember those books that we had when we were little and you could pick like page five, you will be greeted by a bear or page 22, you then did, you know, and you choose your outcome. You are the author of your life. You do not have to repeat cycles, okay? Also, your dreams, your intuition, all of that is going to be lit. You also could be feeling a lot of energy, especially around Dia de los Muertos, which is today, um, about the energies that are coming to visit you. Fantasmas. No existen fantasmas. You know, like there is a visitation or in a dream or in a moment that you're going to have that is going to be very powerful for you. So pay attention to that. All right, you could be seeing the number 222. Star Ancestors is a big energy over your love life right now. And it says, follow the voice of your soul. You know, there's something about being free. Sagittarius energy is very spiritual. I don't care what anyone says. This is a very spiritual sign. You are half human, half horse, right? You have this amazing energy to get things done. And you're strong and you're powerful. And you have to start following what your soul is telling you to do. Do not conform to the ways of the world because they are not of yours. All right? So let's get into this love read. Let's see what's going on for my sexy Sagittarius. This is a general read, so take the parts that fit and leave the rest for someone else. All right? If you'd like a personal read, hit me up on my link tree and let's become friends. Or better yet, come see me on my live. Now, we have the answer is no, it's not the right time. We could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and it's time to manifest when it comes to love. Overall energy, what do we have here? Open up your heart, okay? Open up your heart, my love bug. My nose is itching. Ah. Okay, my allergies are like on fleek. All right, it's not the right time. What is that about? There's an ending. There's a tragic ending. You thought something was going to be on and pop in. And it is not, okay? And you're a little sad about it. Water sign says, you know, it's time to grow. It's time to develop. It's time to release the past. What are we manifesting? What are we manifesting? This relationship is over. You're, you want something to come back. There's no second chances. What's over is over. Let it go. And there is a, so a so shocking change. <laughs> A shocking change, all right? By you opening up your heart and transforming things that could lead to what? A more committed relationship. All right, let's jump into this. Let's see what we got going on for this month. All right, show us the energy for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus when it comes to love. Boundaries, Nine of Wands. All right, going to be very important. You're letting people know things. Trusting your intuition. You also could have been dealing with someone with very heightened intuition that kind of pumped the brakes on something, okay? Queen of Wands. That's either your energy or the high priestess energy, but somebody is saying, look, you can't, you can't pass go and you can't collect $200. And I'm taking the dog, all right? Oh, heartbreak. You could have either been very heartbroken about a situation or another fire sign could have heartbroken you. And you're, you're, you're like, look, I'm off. I'm gone. I'm off to the next. Thank you. Next. All right. Overall energy. You just want something that's going to grow. There is a situation for you that you are just like, look, I thought I was being romantic or you thought someone was being romantic. The high priestess was like, look, I'm about my money and I'm about my coin. So that's either you or the person you're dealing with. Now, two queens in your read is telling me that there's a lot of talk about you at work. All right. What does the queen of wands want you to know? Something's got to change. 
The Three of Swords, especially in a financial situation or in a situation where something that was said because of it being by the Eight of Wands, something was said really caused something to end. The Eight of Wands said you're going to find your balance again. Don't worry, my friend. And do not get caught up in the mix. 888 could be a very powerful number for you also this month. That is a great number for manifestation. When I'm looking at this, I kind of feel like you need to trust your intuition. Something is completely over. There is no second chances, third chances, fourth chances. It's done. It's over. It's finished. And you're ready to go to the next level. It could have been something very karmic because this is a sign of like kind of karmic lovers. All right. So let's jump into the singles. And ready to what? Damn dirty mingle. Yes, baby. <coughs> Let's see what we got. Singles and ready to mingle. We got it. So yes, baby. Luck is on your side. But there is a liar in the mix. Yes, they're a liar. And intimacy is more than just sexual energy. All right. And overall... Open up your heart. So there is definitely something about you really realizing that there is more to life than just shebangy bang. Okay? We got to connect more than just with our root chakra. Okay? Someone's trying to connect with more. Yes. Someone is running. Okay? There's a fear of intimacy. Either that is you or the person you're chasing. Whatever. Um, there's a lot. The liar said clarity and truth. Okay? There's a revelation and intimacy. Uh, sabotage, working on it, repairing it. So a lot of times people talk about, oh, this is so intimate, and then they show sex or whatever. But, you know, I'm going to be real with you. Intimacy is being able to be the real you at all times. Intimacy is being able to say, I don't even know what to say right now, or like, this really hurts my feelings, or I really like when you do this, or can we just hold each other's hand? You know, that's intimacy. It's not always where my mouth is on body parts or anything like that. But it's, this is about really getting to become intimate with someone. Open up your heart said there's a new beginning. You need to chase something new. It's about focusing your energy on something that feeds your soul. All right? So let's see here. What do you have coming in for you? What it has for my beautiful Sagittarius? Okay, I talked a lot in Leo, so I'm not going to talk a lot in yours. I'm going to try, try my best not to talk so much, all right? We have the Ace of Wands. So we, de Ace of Wands, definitely want something hot, passionate, love. We want something new, something hopeful, okay? You're like really hopeful. And then we have the King of Pentacles here at the top of your read. And so crowning your read is like, look, we have got to find something that we can invest in, something that we feel safe with, okay? The Magician, we've got to work on manifestation, and we're going to have to start fresh. There could also be an age difference with you and your person, and I do get soulmate energy with the world. All right, looking at this, I see the number 11, and I see the number 9, so I want to say the 9th. I already have that written. It's going to be very important. So as I'm looking at this, there's a big promise. We want to start something new. We want to start something new with something that is going to be grown, okay? But we have to start here at the page. So it's almost like there's a situation where someone wants to be like, oh, we're like instant relationship. No. That's not how things work. We didn't, there's some, there's beauty in getting to know. There's beauty in the talking phase, okay? And the talking phase isn't all about like, hey, let's jump into bed, okay? Ace of Wands, let's see what we got going on. The Ten of Cups. So this is like zero to a hundred, okay? Like you met someone and you're like, we're getting married. <laughs> or they thought that with you and you're like, whoa, pump the brakes. There's also a trip possibly that you're going on and something about the past that we need to let go. All right. The nine of cups with the moon. There's something about a move and releasing the past. So we need to move on from the past. Definitely like we're very much holding on to something that is no longer for us. What does the king of pentacles want Sagittarius to know? There's a door, B. No, I'm just playing. It's the Four of Cups. So, for me, what this is kind of saying is, look, we have a choice. Either we can commit to this and invest in this, 
or you can go. All right. So there's that much. There's that energy. And then we have the Knave of Swords. And if you see here, this is a very immature energy of like, oh, yeah, sure. I want to do this. I want to do this. It's going to be great. Six of Swords. And I don't know like if it's like you want to rush a situation. You cannot rush this situation. When you're dealing with the King of Pentacles vibe, he does, there is no or she, whatever that vibe is, they're not in a rush. They want to see what you're about. They want to see you when you're angry. They want to see you when you don't have a plan. They want to see what is going on. Okay? Let's see here. The Magician wants you to know the Nine of Swords. Watch out with manipulation um, this month, okay? And there is definitely a strong ending because I have three nines in your read, okay? There, there's something about the Two of Cups. There, watch your words and, and make sure no one is like kind of like making a relationship where there's not one, okay? You end with the Page of Pentacles, which is the Fool. So you're going to start fresh. You're going to start new. And then there's the Emperor, Okay, so you're starting fresh, you're starting new, you're like, I got my eye on something, or someone's got their eye on you, and then something from the past resurfaces, all right? Where was the overall energy of the world? And the world says, go with what's coming in new with the Ace of Wands, passionate, love, enjoyment, and then the tower, and there's that situation from the past. Okay, look, Eight of Pentacles, so... <clears throat> This is what I'm kind of getting. There's something that has been very hard for you to move on from. So I think that's very difficult for you, Sagittarius. But if you do not sit down and figure out what it is that you truly want, need, and desire, there's going to be a problem. And the problem is that someone is self-sabotaging a relationship. Like you get to a certain point, it falls apart, we leave it kind of open, and then we jump right back and we want to start where we left off. And that's not how it works. So either somebody is trying to do that to you or that's kind of like the runner vibe that you have going on. There's also something that's coming to an extreme ending. Like there's three nines here. It's about to end. We're done. Um, and I also feel like whoever you have your eye on, that you have to meet that person in the right place. I have never noticed how jacked up this woman's foot looks. But that is an ugly foot. Like I'm like that is ugly. Um this person, there's something about their feet. There's something like, um, or there's something like you hurt your leg or there's some kind of scar that you're afraid to show. This person's okay with seeing it. They, they, you feel safe with this person, but it's like, it just doesn't get anywhere. And why is it not getting anywhere? Why does it not get anywhere? Why? Three of wands. So there's like potential. But then distraction with the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, look, there's an issue of like, okay, this is what I'm getting. So it starts off like, oh yeah, very passionate and cute. It walks away cutely, like my daughter says. And the Knight of Cups is like, yeah, I really am feeling this. And there's a lot of great talk. And then all of a sudden it's sexual. And it's like, what? Like, I thought, like, I thought we were cool. Like, I thought I could have a conversation with you. And it does not go that way. Queen of Wands, okay? It's just immediately, like, they're like, okay, show me your, show me your tatas, or show me your feet, or show me this. And it's just like, dude, it's like a typical Tuesday. Like, can I show you my teeth? You know, I used to tell my dad. <laughs> I went to, um... <laughs> I went to New Orleans one time for Mardi Gras, and they were helping me move when I was in college, and I had, like, all these beads, right? And my dad was like, what the hell? Like, bro, why do you have all these beads, right? And I was like, he said, show me your teeth. And I have such a great smile, Dad. Like, they were just throwing the beads at me. He just looked at me. He was like, girl, I know you a lie. <laughs> so, like, it is not Titty Tuesday or anything like that, my guys. Okay, we got to take it easy. You want to go from zero to 100, or this is what that person is doing to you. And it almost makes you feel um, there's no connection. They want connection. They are, You want connection. So you have to be the king of pentacles and cut out these knights that are nothing about, but they're physical. Everything is physical. And we want stability. We're looking for the king of pentacles. We're looking for the king of cups. We're not looking for the knight of swords and the knight of cups that just want to come when they want to, when they want to come. Okay. So that's what I'm picking up for you. Whew. Ah. 
Saj, got me all hot and bothered over here. Lord Jesus. <laughs> the ace, the ending is the ace of wands, okay? They have an intimate, mo oh, oh, let me cover that. Intimate moment, and someone is like, and not today, Saj. So it ends. Someone isn't feeling it, okay? And we need to focus on the intimacy. We need to focus on what what is intimacy for you, okay? And does it fit? Because... Does it fit, Sag? I don't know. Let me stop. Let me stop, Sag. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, someone is saying that, yeah, they want to have a very committed relationship, but all they want to be is um, inside. And then the other person might be saying, oh, I'm cool with just a physical relationship, and they want a more, like, nurturing relationship, okay? Wow. Okay, let's see who's coming in new for Sag. Let's get out of this conversation. Who's coming in new for Sag? What is the vibe for Sagittarius? Give me a description. We have Leo, um, light hair, light eyes, very like sunny disposition, very young, free hearted. Green eyes, um, clover, green eyes, brown hair, maybe hazel eyes, Sagittarius energy. Then we have small petite features. And they could get very nervous around you. And then we have the Gemini energy. So this person talks a lot. They're also, what is the description on that? Slim, um, slender. And this person is very beautiful with the bouquet. They got beautiful hair, beautiful eyes. They're very attractive. You can't help but like them, okay? You can't help it, boo. You just want it. You just want it, okay? Let's see. Give me, give me clues. Very petite. Okay, the child has the bomber jacket. There's that 444 because 13 is a 4. You could be seeing 444 if this message is for you. This person makes you feel safe. They make you feel protected. It's fun. It feels good, okay? Person could smoke. There's something about their hands. Very small hands because if you see here, like, the, my, the mouse has really small hands, right? And then they're showing the hands. So there could be, like, a lot of texting, a lot of, like, they talk with their hands. And then the letter says the crown chakra. Sometimes y'all finish each other's sentences and the bouquet with the VR. So this person could like, um, so the virtual reality makes me think like online. This person could have an online persona or they have a lot of people admiring them online. Um, very beautiful individual. All right. So that's your next person. Let's give you guidance. Okay, let's give you guidance. You guys. Sash. Oh my God. What is going on? Let's see. We have balance is needed moving forward. Then we have a lot of healing coming in for you. And we have making your house a home, okay, with the temple path. Overall, woman with a coin. So either that's you or someone you're dealing with that's very focused on their finances, okay? Who's you dealing with a Capricorn? I'm just playing. All right, the angel of balance. What needs to be balanced? Your self-care. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you putting yourself first? All right, and it's time to because the birth card comes out. What is the door to personal healing and happiness? It's time to make time to heal. You need a Reiki session probably. And the temple path, forgive yourself for not taking care of things at home. And the woman holding the coin, self-doubt. <clears throat> Maybe you didn't think a financial decision is going to make it, but it is. And it's time to put yourself first and put your career first. One more for that. And some of y'all are wanting to buy a new house or do something with the house that's going to work. So just for shenanigans. <coughs> Sorry. The cats say, stay curious. Learn something new today. <laughs> Find your voice and shout it from the rooftop, baby. Okay. And... No one is you, and that is your superpower, my love. All right? So that is what I have for you, my sunshine and rainbows. I hope you have a beautiful month. We're going to jump into our CR to our couples, okay? Let's see what's going on with the couples. These are people who know each other, who are dating, who maybe are in a relationship, okay? Not just up here. Sun, moon, and rising. What do we got? We have, there's someone else. Okay. We have commitment, okay? <laughs> and an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Overall energy, the pets. All right, we have a, we have some animals going on over here. I'm getting a pet. <laughs> I talk about it all the time. I'm super excited. Wrong deck. Okay, let's see here. 
Let's get more clues on to someone else. Someone is trying to sabotage this, and it's interesting that the word sabotage came out here and on the singles, okay? Sabotage. You're evolving, you're growing, you're in your new phase, you're releasing the past, so this is definitely someone from your past who wants to come in. This person from the past, what is their deal? What is their deal, Sag? What is their deal? Um, they're, they miss having sex with they sabotage this really if that word don't stop okay they messed it up all right and they want your forgiveness they're just like could you please forgive me but you're like i'm already in a relationship i didn't even like you <laughs> it's my birthday just send me a gift all right and uh, they can't go another day without you oh my gosh they wish you were here with them and you're always on their mind. Well, damn dirty, I bet, okay? But now they're ready for a commitment. Okay, whoa! Okay! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at them. But I am, because they they got, they had you, and they lost you. And now you're committed to a possible earth sign, okay? You, you, you on to the next. I got thunder in the background, so. Lord, hopefully I don't lose electricity here. Okay, commitment. You have your boundaries. They cannot come over. They cannot play. Okay. When it's over, can I still come over? No. And no. Okay. <laughs> Earth sign boundaries. Not today. All right. There's a lot about boundaries. You are not playing. You're like, you had your chance, boo. And I'm done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having way too much fun. I'm coughing all over the place. Let's see what your your person your your person is lucky to have you. Okay, because Sasha was not playing with this person. You're like you can you can hit me up all you want, my friend, but I am in a committed relationship. It's not with you. Thunder, lightning, all around. Everybody lose electricity. We do we do lose out a lot after the hurricane. All right, what's their person thinking? <laughs> Your person's like, that's my boo. <laughs> I love me so Sagittarius. I'm going to be your king of cups. Oh, my God. Your person is like a mega in love. Y'all, I love his eyes. He's just like, is that my Sag? <laughs> He's like, that's my baby. All right. They see you as the king of swords. Ain't that about to be? They're all like, I love you. And you're like, oh. well, sir or ma'am, you got to do this, this, and this. Okay? But two kings, there's someone getting a raise, a promotion. It's, it's going to be a good time. Okay? It's going to be a good time. Let me move these cards. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> the tower. Okay, be careful for drinking or celebrating a little too much because the king of cups likes to indulge. Okay? And there's the devil. The tower and the devil. But it's okay, because we're the Six of Swords, and we make it through. Woo! <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, it'll work out. Woo! Okay, we're going to just, oh, and here's the world looking at me, just in case. So I do feel like <clears throat> singles got the world, you get the world. So I do feel like there's something about a big ending. There's something completely ending. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I'm going to take some cough medicine. Maybe the vodka will kill it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Knight of Cups, what do you have for us? Because they're like, hey, boo. I'm really feeling you. I'm your Knight of Cups, but I really want to be your big daddy. All right, King of Cups. I love you. Oh, my God, they're in love with you. Okay? You heal me. Your love is a one in a million. Ow. Ow. I'm loving it. Oh, my God. King of Cups says... Can we talk? Baby, they are in love with you. Your partner said, Why are you a cold hearted snake, Queen of Swords? Sag. <laughs> Your partner is like, Damn it. I love you. And you're like, That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How they see you as the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, y'all? Yeah? <laughs> oh my God. Six of Swords. They're like, how can we move on? How can we be better? And you're like, look, I'm standing on business. She's just like Arthur's Court, okay? Can you get the stick out the rock? 
Okay, you gonna get the sword out or not? If you can't get the sword out, we can't talk. What is wrong with you? And they're like, please, can I come back in your life? I don't know what your partner did, but they, they want some sexual healing, some love healing. They freaking love you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm not going to laugh at them. The tower. They're like, are you ever going to talk to me again? Will you please talk to me? Will you please say something? Let's get married. I'm <laughs> like, they're like, oh my god, Sag, you're killing me. Like, your person is killing me. They're like, look, you don't want to date? Let's get married. And you're like, the fuck? You just want to have fun with the devil, okay? What is this? <laughs> the devil by the tower. Oh my god, Sag. What did you do? Two of cups. What did you do to this person? Two of cups to the five of pentacles. Why did you give him the good love and body rock and knock your boots all night long? And then you blocked him. Like, no, oh, I'm good. What is wrong with you? Okay, six of swords to the ten of uh, cups. So you 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 end up committing. <laughs> you know, you're like, okay, you got me. All right. King of Pentacles. But, you know, you gotta, like, step it up. You can't just offer me love. You gotta finance my life. Um, they're like, whoa. Woo! Okay, Eight of Pentacles. What's going on there with the Seven of Cups? A lot of confusion around a work situation is also going on. And, look, we got the devil again. I gotta hide his rutabaga. So, we got the devil again. So, <clears throat> Seven of Cups and the Devil, there's a lot of arguing going on, possibly around a work situation, or can we even make this work? <coughs> oh my god, I need my asthma medication. Y'all got me laughing so hard. Look, Sag, you like the king and queen of pen of swords. <clears throat> You're not budging. You're not budging. They don't they don't even know what to do. They don't Why you do this person like this? Oh my God, you might have heavy air in your chart because they don't even know what to do with you. I'm scared you'll reject me. Yes, they are. I really do care even though I don't show it. They can't go another day without you. And I'm sorry I couldn't be what you needed to be, but let me please try again. All right, I don't know, Satch. I don't know who you got coming back, but they want to they wanna offer you something. Like, look at the... Look at this, you know? And you're like, look, get a real job. Be a real person, okay? And then we can talk. And if not, you can just watch me live my fabulous life. Wow, Sag, you are... This is one for the books, boo. <laughs> your partner is like... Can I please be your king of cups? And you're like... <clears throat> no. I do feel like there's a trip you're going to take, Sag. It's very important. I'm losing my breath. Okay, I need to stop because I'm laughing way too hard and I'm having way too much fun. Let's see what's something that you don't see coming. Double devil. Like, woo! Interesting. Let's see. What do they not see coming? There's a gentleman. Trip, I told you. Another gentleman. A major decision about love. You could see them at a social outing. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. You could be like in a relationship, right? And you're committed. And then this person from the past wants to come back. You have to make a major decision. This person could be traveling, coming through the neighborhood, whatever. But you have to make a major decision. You have to make a decision from the heart. Woo! Woo! Oh my God! Keep me posted, Sad. This is like drama, okay? We need to be drinking coffee and eating pan dulce together, okay, friend? Because you got some drama. And your girl want to know all about it? I won't tell anybody. I have to be confidential because of my job. Part of the life of a therapist. This wanted to fly out. I was going to show you deceit, okay? We're going to throw it out. We're going to throw it out. It wanted to fly out. But your message is... Hostile, doggy style, any style. No, there's some hostilities. But you're going to open up your heart. And everybody's jealous. Somebody's jealous of you. And somebody got a coin for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Okay, let's get guidance. Oh my gosh, I gotta take it easy. I'm like choking over here. Let me take some allergy medicine. Hostilities. <coughs> what do we have? Romance. This dirty romance. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Okay. All right, Lady Gaga. We got a romance going on. Okay. Whoa. A hostile one. Because someone's trying to get in. Okay. And you want freedom of the heart? Who's jealous? You got to trust it. If you feel like someone being a little deceitful. Look at his eyes. Okay. Deceit. They grieving you. The person who lost, oh, que triste la estrella. Probably an Aquarius. That person, because it's a star. <laughs> Just like, okay, this person is really sad they lost you. They're trying to be, you know, deceive you. And they're jealous. What does the man holding the coin say? I light up your life. Hey, all right. I got nothing. I don't know what this meant. <clears throat> Actually, I do. Look, there's a situation that some of y'all are going through, and you know that you've moved on and you're committed to what you have. You do have a soul tie with someone else. This person could be coming back, or you could find out that the person that you truly love has been hiding something from you. The best thing to do is to choose with your heart and trust your heart as you move forward. And I know I make a lot of jokes and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is anyone who makes you feel like an option or feels like they could lie to you, they do deserve the Queen of Swords energy. Life is too short to be dealing with someone who doesn't treat you the way that you should be treated or love you the way that you deserve. And I know I joke around a lot, but I'm like, on the serious tip, some of y'all are dealing with a big, dirty a-hole, okay? All right, let's move on, because I don't like to be serious. Where is my deck? <clears throat> Cutting the deck. This is Aries to Pisces. Look, Queen of Swords. We don't even talk anymore. Right, Queen of Swords? Because I trust my intuition. <clears throat> Pay attention to your dreams, Sag. Oh my God, I am choking over here. Ah, that vodka kill it all. <clears throat> that is my remedio. <clears throat> Fix some vodka. <clears throat> Maybe I should eat something. I haven't eaten in a while. What time is it? I don't even know what time is it. What time is it? I'm not supposed to be, I'm supposed to be the client. Hey. Hey, don't be mad at me. Yeah. I think I canceled it. I hope I did. All right, guys. Aries to Pisces, that's it. Let's see. Here you are, Sagittarius. We're not healing. You're like really, really hurt. And Aries said, let's get married. <laughs> What are you doing to these people? Okay, you're like, no, I gotta work. I'm gonna work on it. We're gonna try. And they're praying. They're like, oh my gosh. I really hope that they take me serious. I wanna get married. I wanna make it work. And you're like, you, you hurt me. They're a little bit narcissistic and love bombing and you're not feeling it. You're not down for the count, okay? Lucky day is the 11th. You're taking a break with the Four of Swords and Taurus is praying. Good Lord, everyone wants you. You are done. Queen of Wands reverse. Done. <clears throat> They're like, can I have another chance? Maybe you took a break from the relationship, but they're you're they're, you're done. Uh, you're like, I need to make healthier choices. Like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Sad, your energy is freaking killing me today. All right, Sad, you feel like someone did you dirty. Justice reversed. They don't even want you to come over. They don't want to talk about it. They're just like hermit reverse. Like whatever. And you're like, okay, look, I'll talk about it a little bit. This is my, this is my player card, too. You want to we want to play a little bit, Sag, okay? And they're like, I'll play. Can we talk? But there's something about their home. It don't make you feel safe. Gemini is tripping on you, okay? Anyways, here you are. You all up in the you all up in your vicios, in your bad stuffs, okay? Seven of Cups. And Cancer is shining a light on those things. And someone could be getting pregnant. And Cancer's not too happy about it. I'm also going to say this. I normally don't. I would be very careful with um, 
If you have several like sexual partners or something like that, I would be wearing protection right now. I don't know why, but like that the pregnancy and maybe an STD maybe. Okay, the 19th. And if that's not you, they're keeping that from you. Okay, so be careful. And look, this is not your personal read, so if you want to know, you should call me, you know, okay? I'm just going to pull a card. What is the moon with the four of cups? Because someone is walking away. Yeah, the snake. So there's competition. There's someone else. It doesn't feel right. Watch your back. What's their date? The ninth. Here you are, knight of wands. You're trying to give everybody your wand over there. Yep, 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 okay? Leo is like, you look at Leo like they're your soulmate. You ready to give him that fire. And Leo is like, you know, I don't feel very safe with you. So there might be a little bit more convincing for Leo. Because <clears throat> you think they're your soulmate. The fourth is important. Nine of Cups reversed, broken promises, and Virgo is disillusioned by you. Very disillusioned. We need strength in this situation and boundaries. Virgo is putting up a lot of boundaries. Someone could be moving to the seventh is important. Here you are. You feel stuck. The wheel is reversed. And Libra said, I am in full control. Okay? I am the magician. And you feel attacked. There's something about a trip. And I think Libra is trying to be like, look, I make money. I'm good. I'm here. I'm all this. And you're like, ah, it's not enough. The 20th is important. Look at you. Trying to take control. You like, ew, ew, ew. Okay. <laughs> Scorpio is heartbroken by you. They're like, I don't know about you, Sag. And there's some financial issues. There's some mean words that were said. The tower is reversed. It is salvageable. But I'm going to say, like, this person is really hurt. Like, really hurt by whatever was said. And somebody's running from the situation. They don't even want to talk about it. Okay, the seventh could be important. Leo, Virgo, Libra. Scorpio. Okay. Here you are. It's a no for you. And the other Sagittarius is not even praying about it. Y'all is not talking. There was a lie that was said and someone is investing somewhere else. What is the other Sag praying about? They just, oh, they didn't feel like you showed them enough love. So they're moving on poker face and ascending. They're like, you, you didn't do it. Here you are, it's the devil. What are you doing, friend? What are you doing? Oh my God, you're you're like sowing your wild oats and being happy. I like it. All right. And Capricorn is like, can we get married? I like it. <laughs> you're like, you better pray about it, okay? And they're like, I love you. <laughs> oh my God, you have this cap going crazy. They're just like, you heal me. You could be seeing a lot of dragonflies. Oh my god, I can't with you and Kat. Anyways, Sad, you already cut something off. You're making major decisions. And Aquarius is crying about you. Oh, I love my Sag so much. You said I'm out. <clears throat> and so they're like, I just won't talk to you anymore. Your lucky day, the 12th. Here you are. You're protecting yourself. You're a little vulnerable, but not all the way out there. And Pisces is feeling themselves. They're the hangman, okay? You are like, okay, okay, look, I'm going to give you my heart. I'm going to talk about this with you. And they're like, let's have a baby. <laughs> like, what, is, what are you doing, Saj? All right, they're like, well, let's start over. Let's make it happen. The 19th could be very important. I also feel like in this situation, there's this thing about someone having a baby. Anyways, that is your read, Saj. I've had so much fun with you. I hope you have an amazing birthday. Happy birthday, Saj. I love you. Take care. And be sure you hit that like. Bye.